Hello, and welcome back to Cuckoo for Crochet. I thought that since I had done um, a design uh, of a, you know, the, the dragonfly on um, my shawls, that I would show you how to do the actual design itself. Uh, I put a white towel out here just so you could kind of see. And this is my first time doing a, a tutorial. It's going to be a quick one. It's going to be, you know, just a little square like this and just kind of show you. So if you're going to get sort of creative, it's not going to look all choppy like this, though. But if you're going to get, uh, you know, kind of creative or you want to do a design, this is how you can uh, do it. Now, I chose one of my favorite yarns. Uh, it's impeccable. Uh, 285 yards, uh, 4.5 ounces, 260 millimeters, uh, 2.75 grams, or 127.5 grams. Uh, they suggest a standard uh, 5 millimeter hook. It is a medium weight. Uh, let's see. And so, uh, yeah, machine wash, tumble warm, permanent press setting, do not bleach. Tumble dry low, do not iron, do not dry clean. This is the uh, the color sea green. Um, now sometimes, you know, if you if you're new to um, crocheting, they do have uh, on the back of most, not just impeccables, but of most um, uh, yarns um, directions on how to do something, and uh, this is how to sort of read it. Um, I sort of fly by the seat of my pants on some things and then visuals on others. But what we're going to do is we're going to start now. We're going to start with a chain on our hook. Uh, and again, this is my very first tutorial, so go easy on me. We are going to chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, mm, pull the yarn here, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, all right, so we've got 20. Uh, all right, so now we're going to go, we're going to do, these are going to be double crochets. So what we're going to do is a double crochet. You're going to loop it around once. I'm going to put it through the first one. That kind of counts uh, there as the first one. You're going to pull it through the two and then pull it through again. Yarn over and then pull it through. Then what we're going to do is it's always it's always going to be tricky on the first row with anything that you do. Um, so just kind of bear that in mind. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to put it through. We're going to pull through. Yarn over again. Go through two, yarn over again, go through two. Boom, double crochet. Now we're going to do this all the way to the end. Double crochet again, yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull it through. So you got one, two, three. Uh, you're going to yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through again. So those of you who know what you're doing, that's fine. Just uh, keep on going. And we're going to hit till we get to the end. Um, I'll do it a couple more times. Let's see. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. Bam, double crochet. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through, pull it through. Bam. It's very easy to double crochet. Um, and what I will do is I will meet you at the end. Uh, and then we're going to start our uh, the second row, and we're going to start uh, the dragonfly tail. So you should have um, actually 19, because you're not going to count the first one. All right, so we are at the end. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and turn our work. And then we're going to work on the dragonfly's tail. I put a stitch marker here. I had to kind of count because <laughs> I was I got a little lost. Uh, so, but you'll see what's going to happen. So we're gonna we're gonna turn our um, 
much <laughs> yarn over. We're gonna let's see, yarn over. We're gonna go in. Let's see, one. All right, so that's one yarn over. Now we're gonna go through. Whoops, two. We're gonna yarn over and pull through. That's three. Uh, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. <gasps> what do you know? That's uh, four, because I'm not counting the first one. Let's see. Five. Six. It's a lot of space because it's a bigger hook. Um, and what, with the smaller hook, you know, like this, this was done with a, uh, I believe it's a four uh, millimeter hook. It's going to be like a, a tighter stitch, as you can tell, um, just by the size of the stitches of the double crochets. All right, let's see. Roll over, go into here. Whoops. Do -do 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 -do. Charge. All right, let's see. Yarn over. Forgot where I was for a second. I get so easily distracted, you know. Uh, yarn over. Now, guess what? We have come across our stitch marker. So now what we're going to do is, and we can actually take this out now. I just put it there just to kind of show. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one. We're going to skip this yarn over. We're going to go into not here. We're going to go into the next one. And we're going to yarn over, pull it through, work into the double crochet. Boom. So now you got the first end of the dragon tail. Or dragonfly tail. And just going to keep going till you get to the end. And let's see. Whoops. So we're just going to keep going. Yeah, let's see. And then we'll do a little count check because I usually get lost. Me and numbers, I don't know. Like I said, I there are just some things I do by the seat of my pants. Um, or I'm a really visual person too. Um, I kind of like learn by seeing, you know, how things are, are, uh, are done. That's not how I learned how to crochet though. Uh, I don't remember how I learned how to crochet. Um, Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, yarn over. Sometimes that can happen. It does, it happens. Now we're at the end. We're going to chain two and we're going to turn our work. Now we're not going to need a stitch marker for here because we'll know when we get here. Because uh, we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to go over it. And we're going to do it one, two, three, four. We're going to do four on the tail. And then we're going to get to the wings. Oh, the pretty, pretty wings. So again, we're going to yarn over. I'm going to put it in. Let's see. Da, 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 da. And I'm just going to keep going. So let's see. That's two, uh, three, four. Seven as we are getting near. Up oh, and here's eight. Now here's nine. We're gonna jump over that. We're gonna chain one. And we're gonna go right into here, right into the next. Whoops. Forgot to yarn over. <laughs> so yarn over. You're gonna put it through not here, but here the next one. Because that way that'll make that space for the hole. Okay? And then I will meet you guys at the end. And then we're going to do it again. Okay. So we got here to the end. I figure I'd just kind of meet you at the uh, halfway mark. You're going to yarn over. We're going to put it through just before. Pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through. 
then we're going to chain one and we're going to skip over that stitch yarn over we're going to go not here but here right next to it there you go yarn over and pull it through so and again forgive me if, if i'm a little choppy here uh, this is again my first uh, tutorial but i thought it would be fun because i'm going to try to make different things with some different patterns and and such but uh, the first thing I tried was the dragonfly, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd, I'd do that first. Uh, alrighty, so we're going to continue. We're going to yarn over, pull through one double crochet. So that'd be that would be there. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Six. That's seven. And I'm gonna get it through that itty bitty one right there. And that's gonna be number eight. Yes. All right. Chain two. Turn work. And then we're gonna do it one more time. So we're gonna. Go through, let's see, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets. Skip over number nine. And then we're gonna go into here, double crochet here, and then go right to the end. Chain two, turn our work. Then we're gonna do, I said we got one more to do. And then we're gonna work on the wings. And uh, so, yeah, I will, uh, I'll meet you about here. Okay, so we're here uh, at the last uh, part of the tail for the dragonfly. So I'm going to yarn over to go right before it and do a double crochet. Going to skip and a boing right over that one. Going to yarn over. I'm going to go in right here and we're going to say hello to the kitty cat, which is yet interrupting me again. <laughs> Everybody, this is Xena. Hello, Xena Kitty. Hello, you good baby girl. Yes. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet to the end, and I'm going to try to get rid of the cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've got a little blooper reel, so to speak, at the end. So, all right. Now, we're going to get to the wings. Wind bull gives you wings. All right, let's see. So we're going to chain two now that we're at the end. We're going to turn our work. All right, we're going to try to do this with the cat. <laughs> My apologies. You're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. And then you are going to, or I'm sorry, double crochet, not chain. You're going to double crochet four. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to double crochet ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoopsie. Six, seven, eight, nine, and little old, whoopsie, get over there, little old ten. So now we're going to count one, two, three, four. This one would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So one, two, three, four. So it can match, whoops, so it can match the 10 that we just did. So we're going to yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through again, and then there we go. Just hold that steady, pull it through, bam. Okay, so now we got that. And then just double crochet the rest to the end. All right. Oh, do -do 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 -do. And there, we're at the end. We're going to chain two and turn our work. All right. Hope you guys can see. I'm just going to see if I can move a little bit over here. I have a cord. And I just want to, there we go. But you know how cats are. Uh, all right. 
So now we're going to yarn over. We're going to do another double crochet. Uh, let's see. We're going to do three double crochets, I believe. So one, two, three. Because we're not going to go into the chains. So that's number two. And I think that's. Is that three or four? Oh, one more. And right here just before. Alright, now we're going to chain six. One, whoop, get it in there. One, two, three, four, five, and grab that little sucker. Get in there. There we go. And six. Now we're going to single crochet with that six right there because it's not going to really count for anything because uh, we can keep it there we go pull it through and then we're going to continue we're going to chain one two three four five so it actually should be you know chain five and then do a single crochet and then chain five again and then when you hit the chain five over here you're going to go right here, just where the wing starts, and you're going to do another double crochet. You're going to pull it through. Sometimes I can loop around. There we go. And pull it through again, and then bam, now you got your wings. Just like Red Bull. Okay, then we're going to crochet to the end. All right. And then one more. Right here, we're going to turn our work after we crochet uh, uh, chain two. We're going to turn our work now. We're going to do again same thing double crochet in the first one. There you go. There's number two. We're going to double crochet again, number three, and then right before the wing double crochet one more okay so you double crochet one two three four and then that's just the end there for the uh, chain that we did now what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over now this time we're going to go under the wing we're going to pull it up so then we're going to do a, we're going to do five double crochets so pull it through so you got your two yarn over pull it through Bam, do it again. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. Bam, you got two. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over again, pull it through two. And then, bam, you got three. Yarn over again, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. <gasps> Number four. Yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two, and bam. Now you got one, two, three, four, five. Now, you ask yourself, what do we do now? What we're going to do now is we're going to do a chain one, itty bitty chain one, and then we're gonna you know, we're gonna try to hold this here so it doesn't because sometimes it'll, as you can notice before, it, it would sl slip over here a little bit. So you're gonna you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna hold it here. Oops, where's my? There we go. And then you're gonna go back under the wing, the other wing, again. You're going to yarn over, you're going to pull it through the two, see how that works, and then BAM, see? Now, for here, it should be fairly easy. Yarn over, pull it through two again, yarn over, pull it up, pull it through, go through two, go through two, and you got three, whoops. Uh, you, know, you can move these a little bit, which is the advantage of doing it like this, so you can just kind of, you know, shift it a little bit if you need to kind of get in there so let's see yarn over again pull it through two yarn over pull it through two that's number four yarn over pull it through two and pull it through two and then you got your five now what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over you're going to get that double crochet it's going to be right here right after the wing okay whoops get in there Get in there. Here we go. 
and you're gonna pull it through again just finish your double crochets right to the end and then go through and then BAM then you got gonna yarn over or chain two but you see how that works now we're just gonna do one more double crochet right across and I'm kind of straighten it out and take a peek and let's see yarn over and see all the way uh oh mm, what did I do I got a little over rambunctious there so alright so now we're just gonna double crochet uh, right to the end and again I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, tutorial uh, and I hope you got something out of it uh, I am trying to do more, you know, things with this channel. It's just, uh, eh, you know, it's 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 hard when you're kind of starting out. Um, you know, I've, cause I've changed my channel a, a couple few times. Uh, let's see. And now, let's see. We're getting right over there. Right over the, uh, the head there. So now that we're right next to it, now what you can do is you can go right underneath it. You're going to yarn over like that. So it's going to hold it like that. And then you're just going to go on the other side of it. So you got a double crochet on either side and then one right in the middle. And then just double crochet right to the end. And I'm going to pull some more yarn up here. There you go. Ah, no, it stuck to my ring. What are we going to do? Okay, there we go. Alrighty. And we're just going to double crochet right to the end. Just like I said, I'm going to meet you guys there. I just may as well stick around here, I suppose. Alright, and... Uh, double crochet right there. And I, I, I apologize if I'm going too fast. Sometimes I see tutorials... I mean, I kind of started out slow for those of you who, you know, who are trying to, you know, figure it out. But sometimes when I get rolling, I just kind of lose, I lose my mind and I keep going. All right. So here is uh, the double, uh, the uh, dragonfly. So I'll just give another quick tutorial here. So we just, these are double crochets. I use number five hook. I use the impeccable yarn. Uh, this is uh, green, I think it was. Uh, you're gonna do, you got your chain right down here. You got your double crochets right here. And then you're gonna double crochet. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on, uh, for number eight. You're gonna skip over so you can leave a space and then you're just gonna continue on. And then the same thing over here. And as you can see, they kind of do a little this way, this way kind of a, a, a deal. Um, and that's because there's, you know, more double crochets on one side than the other. But it, you know, kind of, you know, adds a little hmm, character to it. And then we got the wings right here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be back to show some other future projects or other projects that I have done. Uh, all right. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will um, be back soon. The cat is trying to get into the yarn drawer. See what I have to deal with? So these are the bloopers at the end of what I have to deal with. I have dog and cat on my little table here as I am trying to do this. <laughs> Ugh. These animals, I swear. Just because I put a towel on the table, they think they can, like, it's a grand old new thing and I have to get up here. So, ugh. come on, guys. Thank you. There's one. Go on, you two. Scoot. Scoot. Go on. Go, go, go. Now, just for giggles, notice where the dog is. And notice where the cat is. 
the dog is in the cat tower and the cat is here with me on my table while I'm doing the video. Yeah. <laughs> I've got very weird little animals.